Former Maryland Governor Paris Glenn Denning won a controversial tug of war 25 years ago to move the Washington football stadium from D.C. to Prince George's County. Well, now as Washington plans a new stadium and possibly another move, Governor Glenn Denning is sitting down for an exclusive interview with WUSA 9. He has a stunning admission. The Washington football team's move to Prince George's County was destined to fail. And get this, the former governor knew it. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Eric Flack. To keep the team at this location where it is now, uh, I think Maryland should pay them to leave. Uh, that's how bad it is. And uh, I mean, look, the shopping center across the street couldn't even make it. It closed up. I mean, having a big traffic jam 10 times a year is not going to do anything for business. You might call this former Maryland Governor Paris Glenn Denning's mea culpa. In 1997, Glenn Denning was cheered by Marylanders for one of the biggest bombshells in Washington sports history luring the then Redskins away from the home it had known for more than 30 years, RFK Stadium in Southeast DC, for a brand new stadium in Prince George's County, now known as the often maligned and half full FedEx Field. So you knew that Prince George's County site was destined for mediocrity at best? At best. Uh, I knew more likely it would be a disaster. In fact, in the late 1980s, when then team owner Jack Kent Cook first threatened to move the team out of D.C. if he couldn't reach a new stadium agreement with the district, Glenn Denning, who was then county executive of Prince George's County, urged Cook to keep the stadium in D.C. By the mid-1990s, Glenn Denning had ascended to governor, and Cook, well, he still needed a new stadium for his team. He zeroed in on this 200-acre plot of land right off I-95 in Landover, Maryland. And for the first time, he had the full support of Governor Glenn Denning, who had flipped on his position of opposing a Washington football stadium in Maryland. Why? Around the same time, the original Cleveland Browns franchise was planning a move as well. This one to Baltimore. To close the deal, Glenn Denning promised then-Browns owner Art Modell a new downtown stadium in Baltimore. But the governor quickly learned, despite his misgivings about the site for Washington's proposed new stadium, he didn't have the votes to get one passed without the other. I got a call from uh, one of the senators, the chair of the Prince George's delegation, and he said, uh, uh, we can't vote uh, for uh, the Ravens. And I said, what do you mean you can't vote? And he said, listen, we're senators from Prince George's County. We have a possibility of bringing an NFL team to Prince George's County, and you're asking us to vote for an NFL team in Baltimore, but not here. We'd be dead. We'd all be out of office. We can't do it. And not one, but two new professional football stadiums in Maryland were born. One has been a huge success, packed every game day, filling downtown restaurants, bars, and hotels. The other is FedEx Field. So do you, do, do you regret it? You know, I've thought about that many times, and the question comes, um, would the vote have failed for the Ravens? And I think the answer is yes. Now, as Prince George's County tries to hang on to the team with proposals for renovations to FedEx Field or a new stadium near National Harbor, while the District of Columbia fights to bring the team back home, all as Virginia moves closer to a billion-dollar bond plan to lure the commanders to the Commonwealth, Glenn Denning has a warning. And I would ask my colleagues not to be overwhelmed by the status of having uh, an NFL team in your jurisdiction. Instead say, will this team be a positive impact for the citizens of our jurisdiction in the metropolitan area? And I will tell you without any hesitation, the location for the Orioles, for the Ravens, the Washington Capitals, the answer is yes, this is good for the community. The location of the Washington football team, the Redskins, this was horrible for the community that never should have been there. Incredible reporting there by our Eric Flack. Now, we should note as stadium deals go, FedEx Field was far from the worst for taxpayers. The state ultimately kicked in around $60 million to improve roads and infrastructure around that site. Cook picked up the full $180 million tab to build the stadium itself. Now, by comparison, Maryland taxpayers kicked in $200 million to build the Ravens Stadium.